What's up, y'all? I'm Alan Hain, the Lawn Care Nut. Thanks for coming back for yet another week. All right, so today's video is gonna be all about a way that I have discovered to sharpen lawnmower blades. But before we get too deeply into today's topic, let me give you guys a public service announcement that'll really speak to those of you that are working on your neighborhood domination. Now, I want you to pay very close attention when homes are for sale because that's a potential yard that could be a current competitor that could get knocked out of the race depending who buys the house and if they're a lawn care nut or not. But on the flip side, it could be a lawn that currently doesn't compete with you, then a lawn care nut moves in. Now all of a sudden you've got an entirely new observation point that you need to pay attention to. Watch those houses for sale. All right, so the reason I'm making this video is because ever since I moved here to a lawn that I've got this really thick St. Augustine, I've noticed that I really need to be a lot more vigilant with sharpening my mower blade in order to keep the cut nice and clean like I like. St. Augustine in general is tough to get a clean cut on just because it's kind of a more gnarly kind of crunchy grass and it's also got a much thicker blade. So what that means is, is if you have any type of lag in your mower, you don't have enough power or in my case you don't sharpen your blade often enough it definitely can cause you problems. So I subscribe to a channel called Wrangler Star. I'm sure that a lot of you guys do too because Cody's kind of in that same kind of niche that I am, like just dudes doing it yourself stuff. When it comes to sharpening things like knives and axes, I don't know of anybody on YouTube that's much better than Cody is. So I saw an episode at Wrangler Star where he actually took and messed up an axe head and then went ahead and put a really nice edge on it using an angle grinder with a Rolock disc like this on it. And I thought, man, that might be pretty good to try on lawnmower blades because maybe we don't need quite the precision on a mower blade, but we could get something pretty close that'll work and it'll be scalable and it'll be quick. So here's my angle grinder right here. I elected to go with the DeWilt as uh, AVE calls it. And uh, I'll link in the description below to all of the stuff that I use in the video, where I got it and why I got it and all that kind of stuff. But there's my setup. But some of you might be saying, but Al, what about the compressor? And I would say, well, it's in that box right there. say these guys are not a sponsor of course but look at this packaging so it came in it had this box right heavy duty cover box then its own box and then within that box look at this if packaging is any kind of uh, indicator of the quality of the tool I'm gonna be super super happy because it's gonna sound loud in here, but this really is quiet. That's one of the reasons I got this, is reviews online said it was super quiet. It really is. It's, it's quiet. I'm gonna stop here for just a second. There must be some preservative or something that they use on equipment like this because it's got what I call fire station smell. And those of you who have ever been to a fire station are like me, my dad was a fireman. And so we always knew what fire station smell was. Not only because my dad was a fireman and I went to his station a lot, but because when he would come home after a shift, he would always have fire station smell. Or my mom would say, you smell like the fire station. Anyway, just figured I'd point that out because it was just something that kind of jogged my mind that way. What is that that makes that smell? Do you guys know? Haut arriba! Up, haut arriba! Oh. 
So I was using that towel to cover up the mower for reasons I'll explain later. But anyway, that's got marking blue on it from when I used it a couple weeks ago, and it's not even dry. Look, I just I must have touched it, and I got it all over my hands again. So just from moving that around, that marking blue. So what this is is a lesson to you. If you're going to use marking blue, it's fun, it looks cool, but it is messy, and it will continually haunt you. And just to make sure I cover all bases, if you'll remember when I did do that treatment, I had a stain. Look, it's almost all gone. A little bit still there, just a few remnants left. But that was a really bad stain. So the good news is there's no permanent staining, not on your hands either. Okay, so I think it'll be pretty obvious, but I am not an expert on what I'm about to do here. And sometimes that's fun for me to do videos to teach you guys something that I'm learning as I learn it, right? So I'm not sure how this is going to turn out. This could turn out really, really awesome and be really cool, and then I could do a lot of things in the future with it, which I have some ideas, or it could be a massive failure. But either way, make sure that you cover up. I'm going to cover up my face and my eyes. I'm going to be as safe as I can here. I don't have a proper workbench yet, which means I don't have a proper vise. So I'm going to have to do this on a brick with my foot. All right, so I tried to act like I was being safety here. I put on my steel-toed shoes and some chaps, wore face protection for a little while, did wear eye protection, but you know, the whole thing. You guys, be safe. So this first blade that I'm doing here, this blade is unsalvageable. It's a, it's just nasty. It's just a, it's just a horrible blade anyway. I used it to cut the lawn out front so you could see the nastiness and then brought it in. This is my practice blade, and boy, did I tear it up. I started with the more coarse pads, and those are too harsh. Ended up just completely rounding this thing over. Um, it looks nice and pretty and shined up though, but but once you get to the blue pad, which for me, again, everything will be linked in the description below, but for me, the blue pad is the least coarse, I guess would be the way to say it, or the finest. That's when I could really start understanding how this thing works, and I went ahead and got my better blade out, and I was able to put a nice edge on it um, using that blue pad. And I do sharpen both sides. I don't know if that's right or wrong. Um, that's just how I like to do it. And uh, you can see here that I was able to cut some paper, um, albeit muscling it through. But here's what I'll say is I know I'll get better and better as I keep practicing at this. But for this quick little tutorial here, I'm really happy with the results that I got. And I am going to use this as a way to sharpen my blade now. Oh yeah, it cuts paper for sure. No doubt. So I'm no expert and I'm not sure if maybe I should clean up these hasps here, but it's still sharp for a mower blade. I mean, I can feel it. It's definitely got a good edge to it. I definitely like this as an alternative and to be honest with you, it's a lot of fun. So you can definitely see the cuts are a lot cleaner. Lot, lot cleaner. Look at that. That's pretty clean for St. Augustine. All right, so here are my observations. Number one is the mower performs a whole lot better with a sharp blade. It literally does. I could feel it snagging the other day. Now that blade was really bad, but I could feel it like snagging and it was literally holding the mower up. Now that it was sharp, that puppy was able to do what it's meant to do and that is just plow through. The other thing is there are fewer uncut blades. I mean, with St. Augustine this thick, you're always gonna have a few that are just gonna be sticking up with a small mower like this but I see many, many, many fewer than I did when I had that dull blade on there. In fact, when I had the dull blade on, it was pretty bad. This, though, is nice and clean overall. So the verdict is that it definitely makes a difference to sharpen the blade, and I'm gonna go ahead and start sharpening before every single mowing. I'm gonna go a little bit crazy with it, but I'm gonna see what that does, see if that improves my overall results by sharpening that often. And this roll lock disc is gonna make that a lot easier. Now realize this is a big investment. I'm not saying that every one of you guys should do this, but if you already have a compressor or you need one like I do, then it could be something that you might wanna invest in, and it is a whole lot of fun. So with that, Hope you enjoyed this video. Leave your comments and questions below. With that, I'm Alan Hayne, the Lawn Care Nut. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the lawn.